decided to take the pirate ship out on the ocean waves. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and they invited two friends along. They invited George, Peppa Pig's younger brother. He'd been enjoying some delicious chocolate and he was up in the crow's nest. He loved being up there so that he could have a fantastic view of the ocean. Spongebob was steering the ship and Patrick loved to let off the cannons. The blast from the cannon made the ship rock and roll. <gasps> oh no, Pepper's gone in. So has George. And so has SpongeBob and Patrick. The waves were so strong, it's just made them fall into the ocean. The friends were in deep trouble and they were in deep water especially little George. He's only young. Spongebob, Patrick and Peppa Pig can all swim, but little George can't swim. Luckily, Tom Thomas was patrolling the area and he could see the friends were in real difficulty. Man in rescue to station control. I'm going to need your help, mate. Blame it, koalas. So Tom Thomas contacted Ocean Rescue and spoke to Fireman Sam and the Ocean Rescue alarm was raised. Fireman Sam jumped on Juno and he sped off at top speed to rescue the friends. Peppa Pig was so scared for her little brother, he kept going under the water. But Tom Thomas was there with the rescue basket. George managed to climb into the basket, and so did Peppa Pig. Tom Thomas carefully swooped down and rescued them. Fireman Sam helped Patrick and Spongebob Squarepants onto Station Officer Steele's boat. The boat was rather cramped but he sped off with the friends to Ocean Rescue. The friends were back at Ocean Rescue safe and sound. Station Officer Steele said to the friends, you were so lucky that we were able to save you. You should never go on a ship without a life jacket and proper adult supervision. Now let this be a lesson to you, because it is so dangerous in open water. <laughs> okay. But the friends are all safe and well, so no harm done. So hit that like button then guys, don't forget to share and subscribe and come back again for more fun videos on MG Tracy. Take care and bye for now. Goodbye. guys this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today I've got this amazing toy to share with you it's the Fireman Sam fire station and this one includes Elvis so it says uh, look at the back to see inside Ooh, this sounds exciting oh wow and Elvis is inside there and there's a fireman's pole as well and here it says it includes Elvis the figure, a flip down fire feature, opening garage doors and a working fireman's pole. So this is super cool guys and we've even got a gut double garage door there as well. Let's unbox this wonderful toy and take a closer look shall we? Okay so let's open it from the bottom. And 
we all need a screwdriver. Okay, so I just undo the last little bit. Oh, we don't need to undo this screw a little bit more. is inside uh, the inside view of the fire station and here's the front so we'll just take it out Ooh, hang on. Yeah. just get rid of the packaging and we'll just take out this string there's lots of packaging inside okay so here's our finest pole and of course here's Elvis so we just need to take all of this off to get him out for action and let's try him on the fireman's pole so we just clip him on there okay here he comes cool and let's just swing around and take a look inside the fire station all the equipment there, the helmets and uh, the oxygen cylinders, also a cabinet for them to keep their uniforms and uh, the alarm and of course the garage doors that just flip open and also flames that flip down which is very cool. And now boys and girls it's time for a story featuring Elvis, Fireman Sam, Mike Flood, Naughty Norman and the forklift truck. It's a busy day in Ponty Pandy today. Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington are checking things out just to make sure that they're all a-okay. So firstly they're going to check out Jupiter check out the master alarm yes that's working very well and Elvis wants to try out the fireman's pole and it's working just fine meanwhile over at Mike Flood's workshop Mike is waiting for a special delivery he's waiting for some special tools they are going to be delivered on a forklift truck. He is so excited and he can see the forklift coming now. But the forklift truck seems to be unbalanced and oh my goodness, it's knocking over Mike and the cargo is gone and now so is the forklift and the forklift truck burst into flames. It was Naughty Norman in the cargo box that made the forklift so unbalanced it toppled over. Norman could see that Mike Flood, his friend, was in danger, so he dragged him out of the way. Naughty Norman made sure that Mike Flood was okay. He sat him up next to his van. Thank goodness that Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington were just next door and Fireman Sam had seen what had happened. So they sprung into action to put out the flames. Here's Fireman Sam now with the super soaker. He'll have those flames out in no time. Done, Fireman Sam. You've saved the day. With Elvis's help, Fireman Sam managed to turn the forklift truck up the right way. 
and the driver was just fine. And off he went to make more deliveries. Now, where's that naughty Norman Price? I need to have a word with him. And as usual, Norman was nowhere to be seen. He was hitching a ride on the back of the forklift, no doubt heading for more trouble. So then guys, if you like Fine and Sam and if you like toys, be sure to touch on the like button. Also, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel and you can see the videos first. And for more Fine and Sam fun, touch on one of the four boxes that will shortly appear. Naughty Norman was feeling particularly mischievous today. It's a Saturday and he was out and about in his go-kart. Dillis Price was just about to shut her shop and said to Norman, you can go out for an hour and then I want you back for your tea. Oh mum, I'll be back, don't worry. And with that, he raced off. I don't know, said Dillis to herself, that Norman will be the death of me. Norman felt that it was getting a little colder and then he noticed it was starting to snow. Oh, cool, he thought, but he didn't realise how dangerous it was going to be. The snow was starting to lay. And then it turned out to be a bit of a whiteout. Naughty Norman was in trouble. He got out of his little go-kart and he just didn't know what to do. But he thought to himself, I know, I'll climb up this snowy ridge. And he did. It turned out to be a cavern full of snow and Naughty Norman slipped. And he fell right into the centre. Tom Thomas was out and about in Wallaby Hub and he had seen just what happened to Norman so he ran through the emergency to the emergency control centre at the fire station in Ponty Pandy. Simon Sam and Elvis Cridlington arrived in Jupiter and they could see poor naughty Norman Price in the distance. Poor Norman, he really needs our help, said Fireman Sam. I know, I've got a top idea. Fireman Sam popped into the emergency rescue basket and Elvis Cridlington pushed him across the ice towards naughty Norman. Naughty Norman was freezing. Fireman Sam reassured Naughty Norman, don't worry Norman, we'll have you out of here in no time. Poor Norman was shivering and he was turning blue. Norman managed to pull himself up onto the ridge. Fireman Sam grabbed hold of him quickly and rescued him into the emergency basket. Naughty Norman was 
safely in the basket with Fireman Sam, but the drama wasn't over. Elvis Gridlington needed to hook up the fire rescue vehicle to the basket and winch them off the ice. This new fire rescue vehicle is a top new addition to all of the fire rescue vehicles that they have in Ponty Pandy and Elvis Cridlington hooked up the basket with the winch. He was able to drag them both to safety. That was a top job Elvis, but we need to get this young lad home to where it's nice and warm and dry. So they hopped into Jupiter back to Ponty Pandy. So if you like Fireman Sam and if you like toys, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, four boxes will appear. Be sure to press on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Converting Transforming Fireman Sam. So here he is as a robot. Here's the instructions. So let's take him out of the box and have a closer look. Here he is. Wow. And this is how we transform Fireman Sam the robot into Fireman Sam Jupiter. So we'll just turn his legs round like that and we'll move up the back part. We'll push his arms in and we go. Just fits in there like so. And all we need to do now is just click it down. And there he is. There's our Fireman Sam transformed into Jupiter. We can push his head down. And there we go. Then we can transform him back by lifting the arms out, turning up and round. And the other arm comes out just like so. We can move the back up, the legs round, spin those around so that he's got feet just there like so put the back down and there's our converted transforming Fireman and Sam robots very cool so then guys if you like Fireman and Sam and if you like toys be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel Four boxes will appear. Touch on one of those boxes to continue the fine and sand fun. It's a beautifully hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop. They're waiting for Trevor Evans. They plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach. They are all prepared for their trip. They've bought their swimming costumes. Dillis Price has packed some sandwiches. Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls. And Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. 
They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh, ma'am, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. He won't be long, said Dillis Price. But Norman wanted to have a run around. So he started to chase the purple minion. But luckily, Trevor Evans turned up in the tram in the nick of time before Naughty Norman and the purple minion could get into too much trouble. It's a beautiful city liner tram and Trevor Evans is very proud of it and spent all day long yesterday cleaning and polishing it. How do folks, says Trevor Evans. Right, all aboard my lovely tram and off we go. So first on board were the Flood family. That's Mike Flood, Helen Flood and their little girl Mandy. They couldn't wait to spend a lovely day together in the sunshine. And next it's Dillis Price's turn to get onto the tram. She's bought a long radar. She can't wait to spend the time by the sea and also with Trevor Evans. She's a little bit sweet on Trevor Evans so she's going to have a lovely day. And lastly, Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion need to get on. But where are they? They've opened the doors behind Trevor Evans and are going to sneak in there. Oh, they are being mischievous. Well, everybody's on board, so it's time to head off. Trevor Evans was just making sure that his passengers were comfortable. Ah, oh, righty-ho, let's be on our way. Trevor shut the tram door and off he went. But here comes the Road Ripper's dumper truck. It was swerving all over the place. The back of the truck was full of M&Ms. Tipper truck has lost its load of M&Ms and they're all over the tram track and the road. But goodness me, the front of the vehicle is smoking. And the flames spread to the tram. Trevor Evans leapt out of the tram and made sure all of his passengers were standing at a safe distance away. The purple minion was feeling a little scared but Nurse Flood comforted him and made sure that he was all okay. Goodness me, said Trevor Evans. The flames are spreading. I need to get help quick. I need to ring Fireman Sam. Sam now in Jupiter and his boy Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris to help with the emergency. Elvis Cridlington's in charge of crowd control. He's making sure that everybody keeps well back and at a safe distance, especially that naughty Norman Price. Great fires of London, says Fireman Sam. This fire is beginning to take hold. We need to act quickly, Penny. You go on the super soaker and I'll get the super soaking hose. Penny stayed cool and calm and she was soon able to put out the flames on the tram. Well done, Penny. And working together, Penny Morris and Fireman Sam soon put out the flames on the truck. 
Last surge of water then, Penny, and it'll soon be out. I'm on it, says Penny Morris. And with that, the flames were out. And with that, the crowd let out a huge roar. And Trevor Evans couldn't thank the firefighters at Ponty Pandy enough. It's all in old day's work, says Fireman Sam. I know, says Trevor Evans, but you were just amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So then, guys, if you like toys and if you like Fireman Sam, be sure to touch one of the boxes that will appear shortly to continue the toy fun. hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop they're waiting for Trevor Evans they plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach they are all prepared for their trip they've bought their swimming costumes Dillis Price has packed some sandwiches Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls and Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh ma'am, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. doesn't go too far and I hope he doesn't get into any mischief says Dillis Price <laughs> it's the purple minion driving a bulldozer with naughty Norman in the scoop had enough of falling out of the scoop but the purple minion takes the bulldozer off on his own but he's not passed his driving test oh my goodness this could be mayhem Trevor Evans in the tram and neither of them could stop look out purple minion you're going to cause an accident and sure enough the purple minion crashed into the tram and it burst into flames the bulldozer toppled over and so did the purple minion straight to the ground Trevor Evans ran down to the end of the tram. Opened the doors, hopped off quickly and got out of harm's way. But the flames were spreading. What about the poor purple minion? Mike Flood was on hand to help. And he pulled the purple minion out of the way. Purple Minion seemed to be fine, but Helen Flood, the local Ponty Pandy nurse, came over and made sure that he was a-okay. Oh no, look at my lovely tram, says Trevor Evans. I know, I need to call Fireman Sam. 
so Trevor Evans used his nice new shiny phone to ring for Fireman Sam. He had no doubt that he would be there super fast. Trevor Evans can hear a siren in the distance. He can hear Jupiter coming. Here's Jupiter now, being driven by Fireman Sam and his bull Elvis Cridlington and also Penny Morris to help with the emergency. It was all hands to the deck. Mike Flood had a super duper fire extinguisher. Fireman Sam had the super soaking hose. Elvis Cridlington was on the super soaker. And even Nurse Flood and Trevor Evans had buckets of water on standby just in case. So the brave firefighters got to work. OK team, let's get to work and get these flames put out. Everybody work quickly and work together. Phew, says Mike Flood. Thank goodness for that. And the flames were out. And the folk of Ponty Pandy cheered. So then boys and girls, if you like toys and if you like Fireman Sam, be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe. Also, four boxes will appear. Tap on one of those boxes to continue the toy farm.